So I'm Mike Love, I'm an interventional cardiologist here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I'm the chair of the Atlantic Antiplatelet Initiative. So we felt there was a need to create Atlantic antiplatelet guidelines because the new drugs, Prasquil and Ticargolib, became available, but there was really no consensus as to how the drugs should be used. Um, and although since our initiative began, there have been national and international guidelines addressing the drugs, uh, there was no consensus in Canada, including in Atlantic Canada, as to how these drugs should be used. And those of us involved felt there was a real chance to do something different and unique in a collaborative way that would help tailor guidelines to the realities of Atlantic Canada from a patient perspective and from a treatment perspective. And we know that existing national and international guidelines tend not to understand the local demographic and treatment differences that exist between patients in different parts of the country. And so we felt there was a real need to develop guidelines that were suited to our patient population. And one of the most important principles of the guidelines was that we wanted to develop a guideline that would help ensure that patients with acute coronary syndromes would receive the same high level of care and appropriate antiplatelet therapy, irrespective of where they were admitted to hospital.